Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. In today's BS video edition is the claim that Big Pharma is evil. Woo! What is it up to now? Taking over the world, I imagine. Wait a minute, am I saying that Big Pharma isn't evil? Yes, yes I am. So, I better have some good reasoning. Here we go. First, anytime lots of corporations do business all over the world for decades, you'll have many individual instances of corporate malfeasance. Companies doing bad stuff. And there is no large industry I'm aware of that has any exception. If 100 large companies is the sample size, and only one out of 100 does bad stuff, how many big corporations are there in the world? Oh, way more than 100. So you're just gonna see a lot of corporate bad actors, even though the vast majority are very good actors. So yes, big pharma companies have done some fucked up shit before, for sure, but that doesn't paint the entire industry as bad, right? Certainly, you would not say because some people commit crimes and go to jail that all humans are fucked up criminal pieces of shit. That's nonsense, most people are great. Some are fucked up criminal pieces of shit. That does not paint all humans. Number two. Anytime large corporations with lots of money and interest in making more money are very heavily regulated, especially unintelligently, by governments, they will take a very keen interest in the regulation, which means that some of those companies will be able to start doing things like keeping out competitors, getting really cozy with various government uh, politicians to curry favor, sweet talk the regulators, appoint their own former CEOs to regulatory bodies, not unique to pharma at all. Okay, if you have a Buy American sticker on your car and you drive a Ford or a GM or whatever the fuck, and you say, man, Big Pharma's evil motherfucker, do you know what kind of backroom deals the big three fucking car companies are doing? Same, same, it's just big companies do that shit sometimes. They do it much more often with unintelligent regulation, a point I will come back to in a bit. Number three, to flip the script. So, so far, we're just saying, look, Big Pharma's not unique in being bad. Sometimes it does bad shit. But does it ever do good shit? Have a fun experiment. Go out in the street, don't actually do this. Take a one of those chainsaws that cuts off the branches of the garden, little bushes that you don't like. Scott, the video guy, is there a name for that thing? Hedge trimmer? And just push that motherfucker right into your leg. All of a sudden, Big Pharma is the only fucking thing that can save you. Big Pharma saves your life, and it probably actually has saved your life before. If you ever needed to take antibiotics, who the fuck do you think made that shit? Grandma didn't cook that shit up in her bathtub. Bitch, busy making meth, I'm sure. Yo, what's up, Grandma? Your shit is good, by the way. See you in an hour. Big Pharma makes life-saving medicines, including simple shit like Advil. You ever had a headache? You would just still have a headache if not for, I'm kidding, if not for Big Pharma. They make all the shit that literally saves lives. So at least they're doing an unbelievable amount of good. And people will say, well, yeah, that's if you're sick, but what about if you're healthy? They try to push drugs on you. First of all, I've never had a drug pushed on me by Big Pharma in my life. I sure shit fucking hope they would, motherfucker. I'm a goddamn pincushion for the shit. They, I'm never getting calls from drug companies going, hey, you want to try our latest anabolic agent? For some reason, the phone is silent as shit. But to that point, they're working on health stuff. Semaglutide and other related GLP-1 agonists are the best obesity-fighting drugs ever. They're a new generation. They're going to change the world. Thank you, Big Pharma. Genomic diabetes cures. A year ago, they did an experiment where they had a viral vector that changed, uh, I think, a few genes, or maybe even just one, in a group of, I think, like five to 10 people with type 1 diabetes, inborn diabetes. They just didn't have diabetes anymore, and they don't, and they never will. And that kind of shit is funded exclusively by Big Pharma, and made by Big Pharma, innovated, invented, produced, manufactured, sold, and through the competition of Big Pharma, because this is one entity, there's like, what the fuck is big fitness? It's a ton of competitors. The major pharmaceutical companies ruthlessly compete against each other, bringing the prices of all those insane drugs down all the time. And in the future, you'll be able to have drugs that cure entire swaths of disease. And it's coming because we already have drugs that cure entire swaths of disease. For example, high blood pressure. You just don't need to have it anymore because big pharma crushed that shit. It just ended the problem. You take an appropriate amount of high blood pressure meds or blood pressure meds, 
that have basically no side effects anymore. And you just won't have high blood pressure anymore. This shit kills millions of people. Not anymore. It doesn't have to because you can just go buy the pills. And it's cheap as fuck. I don't even know how they make money on it. They cost me like $8 a month to get blood pressure pills. How, how does it even work? Doesn't the container cost $8? Fuck what I know. Unbelievable stuff. They're now using immune system-based cancer cures to zap entire cancers out of existence. And more is coming. The 2030s are going to be unbelievable. And guess who the fuck is the tip of the spear for that shit? Big Pharma. Lil Pharma's not up to the task. Grandma bathtub meth is not going to fucking cure every disease. Big Pharma almost certainly will eventually. Here's the last deal on this. Big Pharma is like most other large industries. It's generally fucking great. I talked shit on the big three earlier. I love fucking cars. The Chrysler 300, that's my shit. It's got the video guy. What kind of car do you drive back home? Dodge Challenger. You can give me a more male American car than that. I challenge you. Challenge. Corporations are fucking sweet. They mostly do amazing shit. But they do some fucked up shit on occasion. What are we supposed to do about that? Hate them and write them off? Fuck big pharma. They're greedy, evil people. No. We have some choices. We need to make sure we're applying intelligent regulation, which is a whole other video I'll do on some other channel. We need to make sure they're staying innovative, which means mostly getting the fuck out of their way, but also means we can't have the wrong kind of regulation. Let's go after lies and fraud and theft. And when they hurt people with drugs that they knew were going to hurt them, 100%, let's fucking go after them hard and make sure that doesn't happen. But let's not throw the baby away with the bathwater, because for the love of God, you may think Big Farm is evil, but I want antibiotics when I get sick. And when there's a fungus eating my fucking feet, I want an antifungal. And Novo Nordisk makes that shit. So Big Pharma all the way. Not perfect? For sure. Can we make it better? For sure. Do we want to cancel it and say it's evil and bad? Fuck that. And if you do, take that hedge trimmer to your fucking leg, motherfucker, and try to get out of that without relying on Big Pharma. Please don't do that. Take care of yourself. See you guys next time.